Hi friends, in this video let us uh, discuss about circuit theory related question asked in gate 2 2009 to believe paper. The question is, in the figure shown, all the elements uh, are reduced or ideal, for time t less than 0, s1 remain closed and s2 open. At t is equal to 0, s1 is open and s2 is closed. If the voltage Vc2 across the capacitor at t is equal to 0 is 0, the voltage across the capacitor combination at T is equal to 0 plus will be 1 volt, 2 volt, 3 volt, 5, 1.5 volt and 3 volt. Okay. So, we have to find voltage across capacitor, right? So, capacitor combination. Okay. So, <coughs> sorry. What is the condition they have given? At T less than 0, S1 close, S2 open. So at t less than 0, t less than 0 means 0 minus s1 closed, right? So s1 is closed and uh, let me write properly. s1 is closed and uh, this is closed. This is 3 volt, C1 on farad, S2 open. So the circuit will be like this. Right? So what happened at T less than 0? What is this? The C1 is fully charged. This is C2. Right? So C1 is fully charged. Because which is closed for t less than 0, that is for long time. So, C1 is fully charged. So, what will be the voltage across capacitor C1? Vc1 0 minus equal to 3 volt. All the volt capacitor is fully charged, right? And also, we know that capacitor cannot change the voltage instantaneously. So, Vc1 0 minus is equal to Vc1 0 plus. That is equal to 3 volt. Okay. Next, uh, when t is greater than 0 or 0 plus, what happens? Which uh, at t is equal to greater than 0, what happens? Which at t is equal to 0, s1 opened and s2 is closed. So, s1 open and s2 is closed. So, the circuit will be like this. 3 volt. S1 open, this is S. This is C1, 1 farad. S2 is This is S2, S1. And this is C2, 2 farad. Right? Now they ask what is the question? And another point we have to remember is. Right, so at t is equal to 0, s1 open and s2 is closed. If voltage across c2, the capacitor at c2 at t is equal to 0 is 0, that is vc2 0 is 0, what is the voltage across the capacitor combination? So, what is the voltage across capacitor c2 at 0, that is vc0 is equal to 0 volt, that's what they have done. So, vc0 0, 0 volt means we know capacitor cannot change a volt instantaneously. So, Vc0 is nothing but Vc0 plus also same 0 volt. So, when T is greater than 0, we have only this combination C1, C2. So, the circuit will appear like this. Right? So, this is C1, 1 farad, C2, 2 farad. So, Vc1, we know it is 3 volt. At t0 plus, this is also, this is 0 initially, right? Vc0 plus, it is 0 volt, right? So, at t is equal to 0 plus, capacitor cannot change voltage immediately. So, it will remain 3 volt. It has, three, sorry, it remains 3, 0 volt. It is, it will remain in 3 volt. So, totally 3 volt appears across the total capacitor combination. So, Vc0 plus equal to 3 volt. This cannot charge a immediately instantaneously so 0 volt remains 0 and z1 will not charge immediately so 3 volt will remain 3 so total voltage across the parallel combination of capacitor is 
3 points. So the answer is option D, right? So thank you.